<laughs> hey yo what is up everybody how are you doing welcome back to the nigerian nomad channel i hope that you guys are doing fantastic so today i am here to do another restaurant review in the beautiful lagos nigeria Today, I am going to be talking specifically about a place called Ileignon, which in Yoruba language means house of pounded yam. <laughs> so this place, a lot of people have been telling me about this place, a few friends. I was like, ah, I'm so busy. I'll check it out. But we were taking a client on an apartment tour because he was, he just came from UK and we're just looking for an apartment for him and his family to stay when they're not in Nigeria, but also that we can use for a cash flow business while they're here. So yeah, oh, to so stay when they're in Nigeria and a casual business for when they're not here. So anyway, so that's, I was like, I have, so he was like, I, I was like, what do, would you like to eat for lunch? Then he was like, he would like pounded yam. And I was like, I have just a place for you. So we went to go check out this Elena place. All right. So here's the menu. They have Asho Ebi Combo and Deluxe and Mami Combo. Olobe, 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 and then Olowo Eko Combo. Ashebi, goat meat, meat jigobao. Okay. Then Deluxe, Ogufe meat, Ati meat. Ati meat, snail. Okay. Okay, okay. Be mami combo. Okay. Mami, yummy. Iwowani, 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 no, eh, substitute the goat meat for Okay, 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 okay. All right. Hey, you don't like it. 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 Hey, you don't Okay, shall we judge any corner? Any tiger nuts, but I shouldn't show one. Okay. I'm at a tiger nuts, no. I'm at a fresh banana fruit juice. I'm at a fresh fruit juice. Okay. All right. Fantastic. Yes. Yes. All right. Ashegon, thank you so much. All right. We are ready to order. So, what are you ordering? That's our brother from UK. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Me and she, mommy. Mommy. Oh yeah. Ever before, mommy. So, mommy. Which one are you ordering, sir? In Jemule, near the city, I say, for all right. So, mommy, I like that you're getting mommy. Let's see that. Mr. Fountain, please go for it. Mommy combo is what you're doing. Freshly pounded in your stuff. Oh, Lord, Ben, no luck. I'm a chairman. I'm a chairman. I'm a chairman. Okay, I shall be combo. So, I shall be but with fish. Me of fair goat meat. And although the place is not big, it almost reminds me of like a container type store. Um, but it was very welcoming. They had like, nice music playing, um, Sunny Ade and Benny Sarabe, those type of old school. And they have some history, like, like, History posters to show different things like Ileño, like the first story building in Nigeria, those types of things. So the vibe was good. Also, the people serving was all also wearing all their traditional outfits. And the lady, so I, so I know how to speak Yoruba, but my Yoruba is not perfect. But I, whenever I go to Ogun State or Ibadan, I get to like practice my Yoruba very well. <laughs> So 
um, they all spoke Yoruba language, but obviously they all speak English, but I like that we were interacting and engaging in Yoruba. So the whole experience felt very like original and authentic. Um, and also they served like the soups in like a wooden bowl. The drink cup was like a wooden cup. Um, they brought your thing in kind of like a woven basket thing. All the waiters and dressed was dressed like that. So in terms of vibe, in terms of ambience, I give it like a 9 out of 10. It was great. The reason why it's not 10 is because the place is a bit small. Um, that's the only reason why it's not a 10. So that checks off that. Number two, customer service, I think is fantastic. I think their customer service is great. They are very attentive. They give you what you need. And... They are quick to just kind of make amends. They are happy to kind of explain the menu, what's there, what's not there. Customer service, I'll give them like an absolute 10. They're fantastic, very attentive. Um, and because the host is there and she's not like the waiter that are going back and forth, you have time to engage with her, to ask questions and not feel like you're bothering. So it's kind of cool. I love that whole vibe. So customer service, a 10. Um, now, the food itself... My first time going, I would rate that place as a 10. It was perfect. My second time going, I was like, ah, maybe it was just not a good day. The food was not as fresh. But I think that doesn't like decline my experience with this place. Because their food, their inyo, I don't know if they are pounding the yam or if they are blending it. Or, but the texture is just perfect. It's smooth. It's perfect. I think it's just great. Um, and also the food is absolutely delicious. So like the second time I, the first time I went, I had a foriro and a gusi combined. By the way, this is hack that it's not on the menu. So a few hacks that you can do when you get there that's not on the menu. Know that they have a foriro, which is like a, a Yoruba kind of sauteed vegetables and they have a gusi. So just a hack, just know that you can ask them to combine half and half. That's one hack. Another hack is that um, typically, the dishes come with goat's meat. You can ask for fish and they'll substitute it for you. So just take that as a hack. But overall, I think the food is fantastic. Um, they have a drink menu that I would have loved for them to sustain, but they didn't. But they have fresh juices like watermelon and carrot juice that I think you can also enjoy there. So yeah, um, that is kind of like my experience with it. Um, overall, I think it's great. I think it's a great place to go on a date. A great place to go and hang out and a great place to enjoy a solid pounded yam. It's, it's just very good. Not just the food, but the ambience. So, um, do I recommend this place? I would highly, highly, highly recommend this place. So, yeah, I would give them an 8 out of 10 because my experience the first time did not match my experience the second time in terms of food. And it's just the F4, but everything else was just perfect. So yeah, definitely check them out. Let them know that I sent you. And uh, again, this is just another, this is not a sponsored video. It's just me just showing you guys places to check out and explore when you're in Lagos, Nigeria. So I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. If you enjoy more contents like this and you want more um, and you want to be notified when I post new content, hit the subscribe button. It's free. And it'll also help support my channel. It'll help me see if I'm adding value to people's lives. And uh, lastly, guys, if you want to invest, actually, there's another lastly coming up. <laughs> if you're looking to invest, buy a land, buy a house in Nigeria, in a place that's just outside of Lagos, very, very close to Lagos, but outside of Lagos, that's nature inspired. I would like to invite you to join our community. Visit thegreenparadise.com or call the number underneath the screen. We'd love to have you. And now, finally, lastly, remember, it's your time to rise and let your light shine. Peace. <laughs>